Hello everybody, how are you? Um, having a hard time sleeping. I haven't even tried to go to sleep yet, actually. Um, but I came by, um, oh, this is Shoshana Mizell. How are you? Well, welcome to my channel. Um, I started this channel for belly dance, but it has turned into um, other passions of mine, like my artwork, uh, family joy, and now uh, my poetry. <clears throat> this is <clears throat> a poem I wrote um, going through quite a painful divorce back in 2009. And uh, yes, these poems were written by me, Shoshana Mizell, in this particular one was actually February 24th, 2009. And the name of this poem is We Thought. It's very short. Morning whispers the soulful birth of their love as Ra's sun casts shadows across sand's time. Dawn preys upon apathy's inertia. As an aching moon sleeps this night, and they close their eyes on the future's promise. And um, the next one is also about the feelings I had of my divorce and just how much I fooled myself and really um, based what I thought love was on um, maybe just being enamored by somebody. But it's okay because it got me to where I am today. The next one is called Soul's Thief. Soul's Thief. The heart's intentions burrowing compassion's light. Dark passions lead beneath the humble hearts with surging regretful flight. Knowledge passes through the heart, escaping from our soul's sight. And the next poem I have here. Ah, oh, this one I wrote in 2007. This is, was in memory of my mother who took her own life. Um, I believe it was July 22nd. 1976. I was about seven, eight years old. Um, in memory of Constance Rifkind, my mom. And only her memory cascades asunder, chanting, raving magic thoughts. Her raven hair waltzes across her face. Evil, so subtle and indistinct, measures at only her brow. Such a mysterious notion, suicide. Storms of all the worlds and planets pulse inside her, swelling every internal barrier. Hope was full and gushing. She can't feel it. Life is shining brightly. She can't see it. The scene is predictable. Every galaxy, core, sigh, pebble, snowflake, crystal click of celebration holds its breath immovable till release frozen till warm tears flow then it happens death takes life by the hand and pulls pulls with, with such ferocious lust and the world continues to be a question with no answer an orphan philosophy Um, okay. Mm, this one is a good one. This one I wrote in um, 2009 as well. And um, I was having a lot of very intense feelings. Um, 
you know, even though I just was not in love with my husband anymore and I acted out in ways that were not appropriate, um, and I'm not going to blame him for anything because it's my side of the street that I need to keep clean. But I had a lot of anger and a lot of hurt and I think just a lot of projection from my past onto my ex-husband. So this is how I dealt with it, which is a healthier way than I had been before. The name of this is Black Sun. And farther, farther down below where heaven's genesis beholds the shadows of hearts lost. I dwell as vapor passes, empty eyes, closed minds, impatient hands, bloodied paths of enchanted souls, or porous vessels of pain. Everlasting brew of hopeless hope, begging casts of shadows past, enveloped blackness folds unto itself. Precious depth of unfathomable matter, better take care. <laughs> Um, this was, um, yeah, in, uh, <clears throat> February, is February 6, 2009, and he left the house sometime in, um, December, it was December 12th or something like that, 2008. And, um, he was quite verbally violent with me, and I guess it was just me kind of getting my fear out and seeing a darkness that was very scary for me. And a lot of it wasn't just a darkness from him. It was my darkness, you know. And I embraced that. I embraced that dark, sweet time because it's that part of me, that deep part of my belly, where when I feel it, it inspires me to want to get better because it's so painful. The next one I wrote is, um, well, I don't even, oh, 8.30. 8.30. I have no idea why I named it that. Interesting. I wrote this on February 23rd, 2009. I know I, I started work. I, I got a day job because, you know, I just became a single mom back then. I used to have to be at work at 8.30. I don't know. Formless beauty in darkness lay thy memories at my breast. Sullen, weeping, strangled soul, your gaze goes not in vain. Edge of fury, crisp with tears, run no more. Banked whispers of love, fortress of pain, free thyself. Faded hearts bleed to white as embraces float unnoticed. Frayed heart, heal. Trudging through the moors, Envelop the orange sun, sweet child. Um, let's see here. What else do I have? Oh, wow. This I wrote. Oh, what year was this? This must have been like 93 or 94. And um, I was dealing with untreated PTSD. Anxiety, disorder, panic attacks. Um, well, I always had a constant fear that I would kill myself like my mother. So, you know, back then, I, I'm so grateful that I discovered writing. And uh, I didn't paint like I paint now, but I drew. It was like the one thing that kept me alive. And... Um, I named this poem Molly. Out on the cold iron bars, Molly shuffled her thoughts of ending another day. If only she could be sure they'd miss her. 
she would have marched the air like a brave soldier. As her fingers itched her swollen belly, she licked a bitter tear and retreated back into the house. She waited by the fire another day to pass. That's sad. I really felt that way, though. I don't feel that way today at all. Yeah. Um, I'm going to read two more poems. And, you know, if you like my poems, you can listen to them as much as you want. You don't have to listen to them all at once. You can just, you know, go to the video wherever it is. Okay, this one I wrote, um, it says here 1993, but I don't think that's when it was. I think it was 2009 or 10. And um, I guess this was my fantasy of the kind of.